I am going up. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Is your fluffy thing in here? <laughs> Don't be so personal. It kind of looks like a cartoon character from the Fraggle Rock. Oh, yeah. That... Now, we... did you like that show or not like Loved that show? Loved the Fraggles. Okay, because there was a huge controversy back then. Whatever. It's controversy yeah. about everything. Yeah. We're good? Action. Here I am in Gravenhurst, and I'm going to go stand up boarding? Stand up paddle boarding. Stand up paddle boarding with Tara. And uh, so why do you like this? Dude, why do you canoe in the wilderness? I didn't know what to, you know, is, it, is this a look that I this should have? This is a good look. Yeah? Okay. Because yes. these are the ugliest shorts I've ever, but they're on sale. Those are the skinniest legs I ever. Thank you. Just kidding. Okay. So we're in Gravenhurst. Yes. And you're going to show me all the great joys and pleasures of stand up paddling. Boarding. Boarding. Why do you like it? I love it because it's so accessible. Um, it's becoming such a really popular trend here in Canada. It's just easy. It's easy, it's fun, and it's one of these sports that doesn't cost you a fortune to get into. You get a board and your paddle, safety equipment, you're out on the water. Is that the big thing too? People are on the water? Like, why not go for a hike? Well, I mean, there's something to be said about being by the water. It's really calming, people love it. You're putting them into nature, it's empowering. Something to be said about being able to glide across the water without having to be in a boat, per se. Like you're standing on water. I'm really uh, looking forward to trying this actually because yes. I am a canoeist, I'm a backpacker, I'm a kayaker. Haven't tried this yet. A little nervous about falling over. Is You'll that be fine. No? Well, it's possible, and I feel like we should just let you fall in for fun. Like, fall back, like, fall back. <laughs> <laughs> Look on water! You're seeing a lot more people coming up to Gravenhurst to, to try this and they're going into a bed and breakfast. Yeah. It's just part of their vacation to go up and... Well, I think up here because Muskoka is such a great place to be, especially in the summer and the winter, even into the fall, we do beautiful fall paddles. Woo! <laughs> I survived! And is this a guy thing, women thing? Who's doing this? Is it I mean, it's for anyone. It's even for kids. There's a lot of kids out on the water uh, lately, but I think women find this such an empowering opportunity because they can do it themselves. So they can put a board on their car themselves. I mean, with the inflatables, it's a backpack. You can hike that thing anywhere. So into a lake that maybe doesn't have road access, you can backpack a board there. You can put a board on a plane. I think women are definitely picking this sport up because it's just that easy and it doesn't require a partner. So if you wanted to go out just for a morning paddle on your own, you could without any hassle. I love my canoers because I have to remind them there is no J-stroke in paddle boarding. I'm glad like you no J-stroke. <laughs> <laughs> but because of the fin at the back, you actually can't J-stroke or you will launch yourself off the other side. I'm glad you I, told I mean, me it's that. possible. I do not. So want to I go shouldn't have today. told you that <laughs> because you might have actually had a like launch moment, which could have been cool. So why why yoga with that? Why not? I mean, yoga is a huge trend. I, it's been around for a long time. It's a really natural way to challenge your body, challenge your flexibility, and then taking it to the water is a beautiful experience. So this is this is truly a Canadian thing to go out on the water. It's very Canadian, eh? And paddling. I would say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is another way for you to add in your paddling skills, to improve upon your paddling skills, and it's just really fun. Pierre Burton said that uh, if you make love in a canoe, you're Canadian, right? <laughs> so if you do yoga on a stand-up paddling board, what, what, that, what does that make you? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's so special about this region, Explorer's Edge? Why not just go and paddle around Toronto? Well, you can fall in the lake here safely and not get a third arm. That would be my number one answer. <laughs> but I mean, look around. This is such a fantastic place to be, especially when the leaves start changing. We do a sunrise paddle and there is no experience like sitting on a board or standing on a board and watching the sunrise. We're close to Muskoka, Rosso, Joseph. Uh, we've got a lot of lakes around, Mary Lake up in Huntsville. So there's lots of beautiful little spots to go paddle into and bigger lakes you've got a lot of access to so many options so this is just a gateway to many many things to yeah do. it's whatever you want to do with it and that's the thing i think a lot of people who think about canoeing think it's about an older sport right that i know it's an older sport it's kind of um 
something you need to do with somebody else unless you're really strong and can lift a canoe by yourself you know this is something that you can always grow from so you could get into canoeing again you could find like re fall in love with these different sports where this just gets them on the water gets them started and you can do it as a group yeah but if you don't like that person you can actually paddle away from them you for could a while. actually throw them off their board <laughs> totally i mean you can do whatever you want no judgment <laughs> and then you may trade in your canoe wait a second if you trade in your canoe is that going to be competition for me I, yeah, I'm going to open my own business. Stand up, boarding, paddling, and yoga. And whiskey. Yes. Should we go and give it a try? We should. All right. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. We're out. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. And as she says, some incredible things out there. Uh, uh, well, the idea of... You're right, it, it uses the, the core muscles and it practices your balance, you really get a good workout. Mm -hmm. But the idea, it's very simple, you're not afraid, and also I think you're more connected to the water than if you're coming with the cut. Yeah, you're, you, I mean, you float across the water as opposed to feeling like you're pushing through it, you're kind of just gliding. I think it's an, a deeper connection. It's an easier connection. And you're saying it, it really does change people. Well, I mean, how do you feel? Evolved? I'm a, I'm a brand new <laughs> man.